Gotham Games. Gotham Games. <coughs> Hopefully it goddamn works. It's gonna be every single game now. Hopefully it goddamn works. Hopefully it goddamn works. Oh! <laughs> what? Brilliant. Fucking amaze. Oh god. And you get two boards. Oh, look at that. Fucking brilliant. So this is patriotic pinball. Patriotic, by the way. So you have America. So it's American themed, right? <laughs> okay. So let's, let's give it a go. So what, it's, what it's all about. America on duty. Well, at least it fucking works. I, I did try again. Oh my god, it's the same developer. Uncle Sam needs you. Help the U.S. Armed Forces to fight for freedom on air, land, and sea. Travel back to the Civil War to destroy the Confederate cannon. Down Periscope. Track the enemy subs with your sonar and take them out with your torpedoes. On the deck, Private, the drone instructor will sort you out at boot camp. Lead the Marine Corps to reclaim the woods of Hill, Fort, of Hill 124. Well, I didn't even say that right. I tried. <coughs> I, will, I will read things wrong. If you've got a time limit on how long, how on, you know, when I've got to read them. So this must be the same developer once again. Thought they'd make a quick buck by just doing some of these. Okay. Um, like, uh, like I said, I, unfortunately I couldn't get <coughs> Pimple Fantastic Kudensai or whatever it is to work, unfortunately. Which irritates me, I want to include it, but whatever. I want to include all the PlayStation pinball games. I will in the video, just briefly, but unfortunately I haven't been able to play it. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at this loading. <laughs> so this is patriotic pinball. Because this apparently needed to exist. <laughs> why? Don't question why. What are, you, what are you, some kind of crazy person? No question why. It just needs to be. It just needs to exist. That's what it is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, at least they've put, it looks like they put a little bit more effort into this game. It's the same developers. It's the same style, isn't it? The same menu layout, so. We've got a job to do. Looks like it's got a bit more effort put into the backgrounds and stuff. That's good. So are you patriotic? Yeah, yeah. I'm not patriotic. Not at the moment. Not with this fucking bullshit that's going on with the government at the moment. I definitely am not patriotic. In other words, but I've never been like a patriotic British person. I don't really find many of those, if I'm being completely honest. Doing really well. No, you don't. You don't really find many people that are like that. But... I don't know. I don't know what it's about. I like how the ball's just directed to my hole. Yeah, yeah I don't know. You just don't you, don't... you don't find many people like that, right? That's just how it is. I don't know why. I just didn't find many people like that. But... It's good to see this has got more... More effort put into it. Than the other two, the Austin Powers one and the Kiss one. I swear the same developer. Why? It's still the same menu layout. Board's much more de detailed in design though, which is good. But it's it's pinball. Oh, 
there isn't really much else to say. Oh god, wait. <laughs> just play a little bit of the... Oh, you know you got an itch. Getting it one of those itches and he's just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, that's better. Oh, that's better. Patriot, patriotic. Would, 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 if you're American and you're watching this video, would you say that you're patriotic? Would you? Let me know in the comments. Would you? And why? Why would you say that you're patriotic? Let me know. I'm, I'd be very curious to hear <coughs> what you got to say. I'm not patriotic uh, to England in the slightest, but England's made a lot of bad decisions. That and... It, it, the police has now become a joke as well. At least in my eyes, they have. I got a friend who's a, who's a police officer, and that's the, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. You can think, oh yeah, 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 of course, of course, you have a friend that's a police officer. No, I actually do have a friend who's a police officer, and he says it's just, he says the job's good, but this the way the structures works is shit. He also said that some of this stuff are a joke. Mission? Dogfight? Okay. Shoot the flashing shot on. I don't know what I did there. What was. We're loading another mission. Heartbreak Ridge. More missions. Fly the wounded. That was really good. Come on, focus. That was really good, especially when you flew the ball straight into the fucking hole. <laughs> I just love it when it has that. Does that? I find some pinball boards designed like that. Just that, like that. There. You couldn't have defended that in the slightest. That. I, that yeah. <laughs> Just can't. He just can't. Anyway, I was saying about my friend. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's a police officer. Right? But he's even better. He's an armed police officer. And he says it's just, just some of the laws are just bullshit. It's just to make no sense. And I completely agree with him. Some laws are just bullshit. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, I haven't really got much control over it. What the fuck? Where did I go? My flight deck. We launched a bunch of planes. It's all good. And now we're going on another mission. Player, you have a we're going dogfight again. How many of these missions do we honestly need? Whatever happened there. Anyway, let's get away from the old uh, discussion of the old palazzo. The old police suit. Either way, I've just never been patriotic, if I'm being completely honest, towards my country. That's just how it is. If you ask me why, when I was younger, don't I? Now, I've got a few reasons, but. Fire when ready. No, 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 no. Put the table. I'm gonna try the other table. But going back to any Americans watching this, would you find it your patriotic duty to play a pinball game based on being a patriot? Pa patriotic? Jump into your RV for a wild ride across the USA with your tour guides Chunky and Cindy. 
Zoom through the peak hour of the Golden Gate Bridge. Head down and get totally ripped to the Muscle Beach and then dive into a catch some big waves of surfing USA. Dodge and speed wraps from the to the city, stay pissed off in the roadside dinner and what a special seminar another special. Swing by Vegas and play for the jackpot and plan for gold and all mines and new cold taking off the moment. It's like your mouth can't keep up with it. I'm, I can read it fast, but my mouth can't keep up. It just goes, scrolls down too fast. In some games, it's just the right speed. And in some games, like so the Kiss games. So which one was it? There was a game that the, the, the speed was just right, but it was like only one of the boards. <laughs> they just can't get the speed quite right. It's just silly. But yeah, if you're a patriotic American, would you find it's your patriotic duty to play the patriotic pinball? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. It's like, why? Why does this exist? This is a, this is a real question for real people. It needs to be answered. Road trip coast to coast. Going coast to coast. Don't question why we're going coast to coast. We just are going coast to coast. We're going on a road trip. Traffic on the bridge. Today. Oh god, there's traffic on the bridge. God's sake, there's always traffic on the Golden Gate Bridge. That's the Golden Gate Bridge, isn't it? The red one. I don't know. I've been to America once. I've been to America once. And it was Orlando. It was Orlando. <laughs> that's like that's like going to a, like a that's like visiting England and going to London. <laughs> you don't get a real experience of what England is like. Oh, I think you go to you visit London. That's a fake experience right there. You are not getting you are not getting the full English experience going to London. London is the least English place in least English country in the in, in, in the whole of the, in the whole of England. And I mean that from, like, you come to England, right? You want to see, like, traditional English stuff and stuff like, you know, traditional English stuff. You've come to in England to see traditional English landmarks and stuff like that. I would say, yeah, visit London, sure, but don't stay in London. It's expensive as well. Go stay somewhere just outside of London. That's what, you honestly, you'd be better off doing. And then, you know, get a taxi. In all fairness, the bus system in the UK is really good. There's more. And it, it is fairly expensive, though. I loved when I went to Italy. Me and my friend got bus tickets to, like for the whole week. Right? To find out that no none of the locals used the ticket system on the bus. You just got on the bus. <laughs> we didn't realise that. If we had known, you just you just get on the bus. And I've had like someone. So someone from my workplace says, "Oh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to Rome uh, to see the Colosseum and that, which I've seen. I've seen the Colosseum. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And that. Uh, I said, don't. I said, if you're gonna get the bus, don't buy tickets. Just get on the bus. You see a bus, get on it. Let see where it takes you. <laughs> I said, you'll be able to get back easily because no one, no one, no one checks the bus. I mean, like no one. There was a there was a guy that came on the bus one time when I was in Italy." check the tickets and he literally you could tell that's what his job was because he just walked in same uniform as the bus driver he just kind of like walked up and down the bus and looked at people and then went back and just t started chatting to the bus driver again and he had his like that one of those ticket machines in his hand so you you know you know it's a ticket machine because you've seen him in the uk you know but when, if you if you used to if you went to college or even if you went to yeah if you went to college and you caught the bus to college every day. You would see them on quite a few occasions. So you knew that was his job, and he didn't check no one's ticket. Just went up that what went up the bus, looked around, went back down the bus, started chatting to his friend again, <laughs> his colleague. So he was like, "Ah, okay." So if you do, if some advice to anyone who goes to Italy, you don't need to don't don't get bus tickets. Just get on the bus, honestly. Just get on the bus. Worst thing that can happen, they'll get you to pay for a ticket. And I'm not joking. This is from someone else who's went to Italy. And did the exact same thing. Again, from a workplace. 
I work in a warehouse, so there's fucking loads of people. Loads of eth eth ethnicities. Whatever you want to call them. So. I can get up there. Yeah, so. And I've, so there's been quite a few people in my workplace who have gone to Italy. Time to fill and, up. What the fuck? Roadside diner, okay. Um, and they say, you know, you know, yeah, don't get the bus. I wish I'd asked them questions about about the uh, going to, about Italy before I went, because they, they all said, yeah, you don't pay for the bus tickets. So I was like, oh, okay, thanks for telling me. Real appreciate your input. Bottomless cup of joe. But they said, <laughs> cup of joe. But they said, um, there was, well, one guy, uh, Jakub, said that, uh, yeah, Polish guy, said that uh, he did he did get someone come and ask him for a ticket once. And all he did was just pay for the ticket then and there, which was like nothing, I don't know, which was like three euros. And then he didn't, and then for the rest of the trip, he didn't pay for a ticket. <laughs> rest of the time he was there, the week he was there. I, I enjoyed Italy. Italy, the food was great. Um, the hotel was shit, but my friend picked the hotel, and I said, yeah, let me pick the hotel next time. Oh, but it was the best price, cheapest, best review, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Do you even know how to look for a hotel? Because I will show you. Time to fill up. Oh, again, roadside diner. It's a bit of lag, isn't it? Late special. But yeah, I recommend going to Italy. I do. Just for the food alone. The food's great. If you like Italian food, it's fucking brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, going back to the whole American thing. <laughs> Game over. Brilliant. But going back to the whole America thing. I've only been to America once, and that was Orlando. And probably most Americans would consider the fact that, no, you have not gone to America. Orlando does not count. <laughs> I've had people tell me that Orlando, Orlando doesn't count. And I was like, oh, well, in all fairness, yeah, Orlando, SeaWorld... Universal Studios. It's very touristy, apparently. So. Eh. I will go back to America at some point. Not at the moment, though. <laughs> you need to calm, the, calm your shit, America, first. Calm your shit, America, okay? Then I, then, you know, then I might come back to you. <laughs> I didn't even change the fucking thing from Kiss Pimble. I don't care. Let's keep it Kiss Pimble. No one's watching this. On fucking Twitch anyway. <laughs> See you later.